what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and it is very fitting that I don't have a background on this video because I'm about to talk about some things that um, you know last let la last video I, I made addressing you know the channel and talking about the channel as you guys can see I was really pissed I was really angry um, about the situation because, you know, when you pour your heart and soul into something, something that is not even really um, giving you anything back monetarily, really, do you know what I'm saying? Not on the scale where you can be like, okay, uh, you know what I'm saying? This is something substantial. But when you pour your heart and your soul into something because you want you want it to grow right you want it to grow and then something like this happens it's it's demoralizing it's it's depressing it's it's all sorts of emotions you 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 know what i'm saying like for me i can tell you my experience over this period of time and what i've been going through right I can tell you guys my experience. It is it, it's it's not fun. It's it's not fun. Yes, I'm doing the reactions in the background, but then when I think about it, I'm like nobody's going to see it anyways. And that's proven um when I when I really took a look at my channel um today when I'm looking through my statistics, I just started to release the God of High School videos and they're not getting no views. So I know for a fact that there's some that for a fact now I'm look from, from the perspective that I'm looking at it now. I know for a fact that my videos are not being pushed either. So not only does notifications don't work on the channel. This is not even about, um, oh, the, the, you know, you need to put tags and all this other stuff. I've tried it all, man. I've tried it all. My videos are being stunted somehow, some way. I don't know. Um, l listen, guys, I love doing reactions. I don't think I'm going to be stop, stop, stopping to do stop doing reactions. But even if my even if my subscribers, right, don't want to watch God of High School on the channel, I think having you know uh, 12 hours go by and god of high school don't have at least 10 views at least 10 views bruh something is wrong something is wrong and I, I i dare you to tell me that this has something to do with anything else than something is wrong with the channel like don't tell me that i'm not doing something you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't tell me that I'm not doing something or doing, I, I'm not doing, I'm doing something that's wrong and the algorithm just ain't finding my videos. Bro, I'm looking, I'm, I'm, I'm SEOing my, my, my stuff and I'm looking at it and I'm like, people are searching for, for God of High School reactions. And I understand I might not be in, in, in the top, 50 people that react to the show i understand that but to not entice at least 10 extra people other than the people that are subscribed to the channel and just doing it for support even if they're not interested in the series this is supposed to be bringing new subscribers to the channel because i know that a lot of people on my channel do not probably not going to watch God of High School, but there are a couple of people, right? I'm pretty sure that everybody that watched that video so far, especially episode two that I dropped today, right? I'm pretty sure because nobody's really watching it on early access. All the episodes are available on early access, but nobody's watching it over there because I'm looking at that too. Nobody's watching over there. So nobody that's a member on the channel watches, wants to watch God of High School. So... I 
I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm losing a child. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I feel about this entire situation. No lie. Like, I feel like I'm slowly losing a child that I've had for two years. Like, that's how I feel about the YouTube channel. And I don't mean to, to, um, to compare the two. I don't mean to compare the two. So don't, I don't want, you know, your mind to go there. If you're watching this video, I don't want your mind to go there as in, it's just how I feel about the situation. Like, I feel like something that I've raised up for the past, you know what I'm saying, going on three years now, is just slowly just going away. You know what I'm saying? And I can't do anything in my power to fix it. You get what I'm saying? My channel is being stunted. The growth of the channel is being stunted for no reason bro like you can't tell me when i look at the, the 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 search um situation when it comes on to the god of high school when i look at how many people in google analytics not youtube analytics but google analytics which is where youtube analytics come from anyways you get what i'm saying when I look at it and see the amount of search results every day for God of High School reactions, you're trying to tell me not one of those people are seeing my video pop up? Not even one? That's ridiculous, man. That's ridiculous. And it's not even, it's not even about, like, if I was getting, if 50 people was watching those reactions, I would be cool because you guys know that over over you know i've just come to accept the fact that my channel is not going to do thousands of views because i do um full reactions people will come in to see like if i drop episode one i remember when i dropped episode one of any series on my channel boom you get what i'm saying boom thousands of views thousands of views on that first episode then when people realize that hey I don't post my reactions on YouTube. I don't have cut up versions. The number goes down significantly. People who really mess with the full reactions, they will stay. You get what I'm saying? But for the most part, people will leave. You know what I'm saying? Um, but now that I'm going to make a concerted effort because I have the new PC and I can do things faster, I can get a lot more done. If I upload videos and they don't work, I can easily go back and edit it because everything moves so fast now. I don't have to worry about um, video, the video editing software, you know, moving kind of slow because the videos are so high quality. And, you know, I can get through everything very quickly. There's no itches, you know what I'm saying? Like the PC just makes everything so smooth you know, I can get things done faster. So I can tolerate uploading a video to YouTube, which takes about three to four minutes, right? Because I have very fast internet and I can tolerate that. I can tolerate the fact that if it gets blocked, I can just go back to the video software and be like, okay, this is what it's getting cop copyright claim for or black for this little section here. Let me see if I can cut that out or whatever. Re-edit, boom, you know, export again, another file takes me two to three minutes to export that file another two to three minutes on youtube it's not taking me hours to do this stuff anymore you know what i'm saying so in turn it gives me more time to to spend with my peoples and and, and stuff like that and the regular life that i live it gives me more time to do that and i can do the things that the thing that i want so when i upload a video and i I said I wasn't going to release the reactions for God of High School. I wasn't going to release them yet because I was like, I don't know if this is going to work. But I said, let me try to see how how it's going to go and how this. it's a new reaction to, on the channel. It's not even about, this is not even about my subscribers not getting noti notified, right? This is about how the algorithm is 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 handling my videos now because as i said usually usually for episode one 
of any series that I start on this channel, no matter what it is, I usually get a threshold somewhere up in, in the thousand to two thousand views for those videos. And then the fall off happens. It's a trend. I know it. I've been watching those things for the for the the, the, the three years that I've been on the platform. I've been seeing that trend. And I've come to just accept it because, okay, people, you know, don't really like full reactions. They don't want to have to sit through 40 minutes of an episode. They don't want to have to sit through 20 minutes of an anime episode. They'd rather watch 8 or 10 minutes of a, of a reaction. And that's fine. It's people's preference, right? That's what I'm trying to make a concerted effort to change. So now... I see because I'm, I'm because I'm doing that thing now where God of High School, you know what I'm saying? I can post those cut up versions and I still not getting nothing. It, it just feels it feels like YouTube is, is basically telling me, sit down, you don't matter. You know what I'm saying? And this isn't about copyright. It has nothing to do with that. My channel is in absolute great standing with YouTube when it comes on to copyright because I don't post that stuff to the channel. I don't post that kind of stuff. Everything is on a Google Drive or on Vimeo, right? Anything that I can put on YouTube without getting a, any any kind of copyright stuff, it's fine. My, my channel is in absolutely good standing with YouTube. There's no issues. So I don't understand how lowly me with with a itty bitty six thousand subscribers is being growth is being stunted this much. It's absolutely ridiculous. And then out of the blue, my channel just absolutely stopped working. And then they're telling me, "Oh, you need to tell your subscribers to turn on notifications." Or to report feedback or whatever the situation is. You should be able to go into somebody's channel if they're coming to you for help. You should be able to go there and say, this is the reason or that is the reason. Why is that not a thing? Why is it that nobody can go into the, 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 the your channel profile or whatever the situation is and tell you what the issue is with your channel? Not even that, not even that kind of information they can provide you. They can't provide me with that. They can't help me out. So I'm basically going, just basically sitting down, just watching my channel die and I can't do anything about it. I can't, I absolutely cannot do anything about it. And I know a lot, I know a couple of you guys have suggested things that I can do and whatever. But at this point, really and truly the only option that I have is to start over it's literally the writing on the wall at this point for the channel i don't see this channel getting back to normal i just i don't see it i don't see it and as i said it's really depressing and it makes me not want to do this anymore because furthermore it's not you know what i'm saying a hundred dollars every every three months is nothing it's nothing. You get what I'm trying to say? It's nothing. $100 every three months. If you're working, trying to put out, do something every day, put out content, whatever it is that you're doing in life, and you make $100 every three months, that's absolutely ridiculous. It's nothing. Okay? What is that going to do? Buy you food? That's about it. That's about all you can do with $100. You ain't going to be living nowhere. That's for sure. You get what I'm saying? So it's a perk because all I do is put that money back into the channel and do stuff. Get new equipment. Get better equipment. I spend all this money, as I told you guys the other day, over $5,000 total in investing into make my, in, um, making my system better. Making everything better having big plans for the channel going forward now that i can do things so much faster with this new pc getting a new camera better lighting all of that stuff that i invest in and now this yeah you know i'm saying it is not 
encouraging at all. It is not encouraging at all. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm saying this to you guys because I know there are people like when I'm when I say that the the channel growth has been stunted, dude, like I'm getting like one or two subscribers a day. Usually it's at least 10 subscribers a day. You know what I'm saying? Now it's down to like one or two, you know. I just don't know what I just don't I, I don't know what to do. I I honestly I am out of ideas. I don't know, dude. It's it's sad. It's sad. I mean, I'm still going to continue to live my life regardless, but I don't want to be in the position where I have to shut down the channel because it it ain't doing nothing. At this point, what is it doing? Whatever I put out is not going to do well. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to do well. Everything is down percentage wise and you could you could look at it from a standpoint of I've not been uploading um it's not even consistently is like not as often as I used to because I'm I've shut down everything because I don't want to start doing JoJo's Bizarre Adventure again and the channel is in this position because I don't want to start doing things and then I'm not getting the views. It's very discouraging to know that you're doing something and there's no growth out of it. I'm not the type of person who likes to do, who's just going to do stuff. As much as I love doing YouTube, I still want to see growth. And you can't, you, you know what I'm saying? Some people maybe are going to cap with you and tell you, oh, it's whatever. I'm just doing this for fun. This takes a lot of time out of my day that I can spend doing something that could that could make me a lot more money. And that's that's real shit. That is real shit. That is as real as I can be with you guys. Right? And I'm not saying that it's an annoyance because if it was annoying me, I would have stopped doing YouTube a long time ago. I'm doing this because I like doing it. Right? I love doing it. I like interacting with you guys. I love doing it all. But you get what I'm saying? If it's not going, if I'm not going to be seeing growth, I'm going to have to switch things up. Right? I'm going to have to switch things up. It's either I'm going to have to leave this channel where it is and go try to see if I can grow on another channel where notifications are working from a new channel and name it the same thing or, or, or something of the sort so that algorithm can still find both channels. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I put out a poll the other day and said, should I start a new channel? And it was overwhelmingly saying it's not worth it. And I don't think it's worth it either. But if this channel is not growing and it's being stunted and they can't fix what's happening with the channel, then what should I do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally was just laying down just now because I was supposed to start reacting to a new show again in the background tonight and i was laying down i got up to do it and i just didn't feel like doing it like i had no enthusiasm to do it because i'm like i'm looking at the views i post i posted um literally eight hours ago i posted episode two for god of high school it doesn't have 10 views yet it does not have 10 views yet Is that supposed to be encouraging for me? You know what I mean? <sighs> I'm saying this not to, you know, be a bother or whatever. If you guys happen to see this video, you just happen to see it because at the end of the day, it's not like I want to get up here for 20 minutes and just and and rant about stuff because I don't necessarily like coming in here and you know being a a, um, a negative Nancy if you will because um, I'm not I'm not necessarily being negative it's just I'm telling you guys how I feel about this entire situation because it's 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 beginning to really bother me because as I said it's just how it feels to me I feel like 
something that I've been growing for the past two years is just dying and I can't do nothing about it. I can't do nothing. I literally cannot do anything about it because my hands are tied because I can't fix it myself. And one of the worst thing that a man could feel is that there's a situation that he can't fix, that he can't fix with his own two hands. It's emotionally, it's emotionally draining. I hate when, when something is going wrong that, sh that is fixable, but it's out of my hands to fix it. Like I can't do anything to fix the channel. It's all on YouTube and YouTube is telling me to ask my subscribers to turn their notifications on. That has nothing to do with new shows on the channel. I'm putting out new content. Why is my content not being pushed to other people? This is a brand new show on the channel, right? Episode one, I can tell you guys right now, episode one that I put out yesterday, 42 views, bro, 42 views, 42 views, bro, 42 views. Is that supposed to be freaking encouraging to me? It seems like not even the people that watched watched it yesterday want to watch it today. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. You know what I'm saying? I know I know people are going to suggest, "Why don't you do more popular shows and blue?" <laughs> Listen, guys. Listen, man. My hair it, it is all messed up and stuff. Listen, man, I am the type of person that I have all those stuff in the in the back pocket that I'm reacting to all this stuff. I have to react to what you guys suggest. I can't I, I can't re just react to just modern stuff. You know what I'm saying? I can't just do that. You know what I'm saying? I have to have a mix on the channel because that's what the channel is about. And I also have to do the things that you guys suggest now. Am I going to start, what is it, Legend of the Galactic Heroes or, or, or whatever the situation is? Like, that's the next classic series I'm supposed to do on the channel. Um, all this stuff that I'm having working in the background that I have and, uh, and I want to release. I can't release it. Dr. Stone, um, Gruen Lagan, all of that stuff. I want to release them on the channel because I've gotten the chance recently to get all of that stuff done and out of the way like i have all those reactions ready to go and to be uploaded to the channel i said let me put out god of high school because out of all the ones that i'm doing it's the most popular it's it's the it's the most i would say the most recent you get what i'm saying that was really popping other than jujitsu kaisen of course which is another one i have you know what i'm saying Laying in wait. I can't release this stuff on my channel because I don't know what the algorithm is going to do with my videos. I don't understand. I am confused with what's going on with the channel because I, I don't know what's going on with the channel. I don't know why my videos are not being pushed. I don't know what. It, look, it seems like I'm just going to have to come on YouTube and just rant about stuff to get views. It seems like that's what I'm going to have to do now and just switch up the style and stop doing reactions or whatever the situation is. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do to let this channel grow. This is absolutely ridiculous that my subscribers have to, um, they, they, they have to, um, what, what do you call it? They have to come to my channel and check my page to see if I upload anything. That's ridiculous and bonkers, dude. Like, my subscribers shouldn't have to do that. Period. They shouldn't have to do that. But no, they're telling me, oh, it's our fault. We're the reason why our channel is the channel is not working. We're the we're the problem. Right? We are the problem. We're the issue. My channel used to do thousands of views every month it's not doing that for the last three months 
for the last three months, I used to have, there was a consistently um, about 50,000 views that I was getting on the channel overall every month. 50,000 views. Not, it, it doesn't sound like much. You get what I'm saying? It, it's not It's not a lot. But it's a lot to me because I know I was doing that consistently. You get what I'm saying? So when when I don't see that for the last three months, I know something is absolutely wrong, man. And so, some people were saying they shadow banned. It seems like they shadow banned you. I don't think I got a shadow ban. There's no way that when you get shadow banned on YouTube, there's certain things that you can't do on your channel. You get what I'm saying? There's certain things you can't do. There's certain things that are locked and you can't do it when you're shadow banned. I've looked it up. It's not that. My channel notifications are not working. The analytics for my my notifications are giving me this weird message saying that um, I'll give you guys an example of what it looks like when my notifications have been sent out properly, right? I'm going to show you guys, right? I'm going to show you guys. Let me bring up the screen here real quick. Um... Just as an just as an example, I'm gonna show you guys my analytics. You know what I'm saying? Let me switch over here real quick. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, let me switch over here real quick. I'm gonna show you guys. Right. Hope you guys can see that. Um, let me move this out of the way. All right. So you guys are seeing that. Right. I was supposed to freaking react to that monsters explained video um tonight. Also, I've just decided to not do anything. All right. So I have I'm going to show you guys. So let's go back to a video when everything was working, right? I think Sons of Anarchy was one of them, I believe. Um so let's take a look at the analytics for this one. I think this one was working. All right. All right. So you see here, this is what this is the message we get. I get when because they're saying some notifications weren't sent, right? So basically, if you go to the information icon, right, it tells you, it said, before your video was published, 644 of your subscribers had all notifications turned on, right? So out of the 6,000, only 10% of people actually have all notifications turned on for my channel, which is fine. I know some people get some notifications. They do some because they don't want everything that I do to be no they to be them to be notified by right which is fine which is fine I'm cool with that right so so but they are saying here occasionally we are unable right occasionally right we are unable to send all notifications there are a variety of potential reasons even when core systems are working properly now that statement doesn't even make sense if your core you know what i'm saying if your core systems are working right and notifications this has been happening for too long for you to say for it to be telling me occasionally occasionally means you know once you know ever so often that's what occasionally means occasionally this would happen like say you know, in a week, it'll happen maybe two times. That's what occasionally means in any situation that you use that kind of framing. That's what it means. It doesn't mean for three months, right? So let's go back for a second here, right? We're going to go to a video that was actually working, and I'm going to show you guys when they send out all my notification what it's like, right? So let's go back in time. Let's look at another... Um, Let's look at the monster videos, right? Um, all right, let's go to analytics. Okay. All right? People actually watch my monster reactions. 
so that one didn't even get notification that's this is just based on you know people what people that were watching the series they come back and check i think it was these like back in the, the 60s so uh, let me go back 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 let's go to black sales because those i'm pretty sure those were working so i'll show you guys what the message is right How far back was my channel not working? I, I mean, this is, I think it was way before The Walking Dead, actually. Um, let's see if this one, okay, so here we go. This is what you're supposed to see when your notifications get sent out, right? This is what you're supposed to see. And the message read is noted, right? So before your video was published, 628 of your subscribers had all notifications turned on and had enabled YouTube notification on your device. Notifications can't reach subscribers who disabled notifications on the YouTube app or sign up, which is fine. Right? All right. So 100% to the people who have all notifications turned on, 100% was sent out. So I know this is a this is the problem. The problem has been that the problem. Also, when you look at impressions for my channel, right? The reach. 7,000 people. Why you get what I'm saying? 7,000 people. This was put in front of 7,000 people. Saw this in some search results somewhere. Right? Total number of times your video thumbnail was shown to viewers since the video was published. 7,000, right? And that's fine. I don't expect to have 5,000 out of those people to click on the video. It's fine. It's a full reaction. As I said, I've come to just understand that most people are just not going to be into it like that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? So that's where the dilemma comes in for me. Because I'm looking at all of this and I'm like, back in March, right? Notifications were working. And then all of a sudden, I think it was this video, right? I think, I think it was this video. Everything just went to shit, right? Everything just started to go to shit, and I noticed it. You know what I'm saying? Look at this. 28 less than usual. It tells you everything you need to know. That's why analytics are there. You know what I mean? So, at this point, I'm looking at it from a perspective of, I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. And it's at the point where, you know, as I, as I stated earlier, I don't want to quit. But this situation might force me to quit. You know what I'm saying? And it's not that I'm giving up on the channel or I want to give up on the channel or, or, or whatever the situation is. It's just that if I'm just going to just be putting out reactions on YouTube with no growth, that's a problem. It's a problem because it's it's going to affect my mental because I, I started YouTube to achieve growth. Growth was the number one thing I wanted. You know what I'm saying? It was the number one thing I wanted. I don't care about the money side of it as much. I just wanted growth. I wanted to have goals and, you know, 10K subscribers, 100K sub subscribers, eventually a million subscribers. And I know reaction channels don't grow, you know what I'm saying? They get, they will get to a certain point and then they kind of stop growing. You get what I'm saying? As fast. You know what I'm saying? So the, the, the growth is going to be steady over the years. You know what I'm saying? You, you can get to 100K with reactions pretty quickly, depending on what shows you're watching and the interest in the shows that you're watching. Like, you could literally start a channel tomorrow watching Naruto if you are interested enough. 
you know what I'm saying, and people mess with you and you're putting up cut up versions on YouTube, you're going to grow pretty fast because there's a lot. And when I say a lot of Naruto fans out there, um, I think it's one of the best animes to start a YouTube channel with if you're doing reactions, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's not many animes out there that can push your channel very quickly from from jump. It's not many. I don't even think like One Piece and, you know, say a Bleach or like anything new, like a My Hero Academia or any of those could push your channel as fast as Naruto would. You get what I'm saying? It's just one of those journeys in, in, in reactions that can really, really... Like, you can get to 10K, 20K, 50K, 100K fast if you're entertaining enough. You get what I'm saying? So, for me, when I look at this and I'm like, you know, I don't want to be sitting down saying, you know, you know, why am I doing this? You know what I mean? Like, there's no reason for me to be doing this. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not, I'm not getting any satisfaction out of it. You know what I'm saying? I love watching the shows, but shows is stuff I can watch on my own time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's stuff I can enjoy and, and, you know, on my own time. Like, but the thing about it is that I want to enjoy it. I want to share the experience with, with other people. Because, first of all, my, you know what I'm saying? My girl, she doesn't watch anime. You know what I'm saying? She don't really like anime. You know what I mean? Um, she's okay with it. She'll, you know, watch it every now and then. If I suggest that she, you know, she watch a certain anime, she would watch it. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, but other than that, I don't really have a ton of friends that's watching anime. I know it's become very popular recently, um, but still, you know, I'm not in, I'm not a teenager I'm not in my 20s, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, talking to people about anime is, you know what I'm saying? It's easy, but at the same time, it's like to find somebody in my age group that watches anime is, is very rare. You know what I'm saying? It's very rare in person. I'm not talking about you could easily find people who are 30 something years old watching anime on the Internet, like on this channel. You know what I'm saying? So. It's not that that's a problem. You, you know what I mean? So when it comes on to how I view certain things, when it comes on to um, what I want to watch on the channel is I'm doing it because I want to experience. It. I want to see people comment and interact and, you know, ask questions or how I feel about certain things. And I can tell you guys and stuff like that. Like, that's the beauty of you know what I'm saying? Social media in general, that's the beauty that can be had. You know what I'm saying? That interaction with thousands of people or hundreds of people, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, wants to know what your opinion is or you want to know what their opinion is on when they watched what you you are watching currently. So for me, it's... You know what I'm saying? That's the beauty of it. And if I'm losing that, because if I'm losing that, then what's the use of the channel? You get what I'm saying? I could easily just go to, you know what I'm saying? Tell you guys, hey, go sub to me on, on Twitch or, you know, follow me on Twitch, whatever. I could tell you guys to just go follow me on Twitch and, and we could just go over there and chill. You know what I'm saying? And, and talk about shit. I could easily do that. But when you've been doing something for, for, for almost three years and, you know what I'm saying, something is wrong and you can't fix it, it's going to bother you. It's going to bother you. And as I said, man, I don't want to be a negative Nancy. I know I've been here for like 40 minutes talking, but I have to get this off of my chest because this is how I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling like I, I want to just pack it up. You know, that's how I really feel, you know, and it's not that I'm going to do it. But if I don't talk about it, you know, what I'm saying I was talking to my, my girl this evening, right? I was talking to her and I was like, you know, I really feel like this is not, 
You know what I'm saying? I got to think about the future. And if this is not fixed by the end of this summer, I think I mentioned this on my last video that I'm going to go through the summer and you know what I mean? If this is not fixed by the end of summer, I'm still going to upload stuff to the channel consistently as how I've planned to do things. But if it's not fixed by the end of summer, I'm going to have to start a new channel or just quit YouTube because I'm not going to keep spending hours doing reactions. And then when I put them up, they're getting in eight hours. They can't even get 10 views like. That's an absolute waste of my time and I have 6,000 subscribers. You get what I'm saying? It's not as if I have, you know, I'm just starting out. Just starting out and you getting eight views. You're happy that you're getting eight views per video. I have 6,000 subscribers. I expect at least, at the very least, 5% of people supposed to see my videos. At the very least. To even check it out to see if you never watched God of High School, you should at least click on it to see, hey man, what did he think of this show? He might, you know, listen, that is just how I feel about it. As I said, that is, that is basically what I've put a timeline on it. So by the end of the summer, I'm going to say probably like by my birthday come, comes back around again. So that's September if my birthday appears in this year and this channel is not fixed and I'm going to keep trying to talk to YouTube, of course, maybe they'll look into it a little more deeper because, you know, I'm, I've been talking to them so much. So maybe they'll do something. I don't know. See, one of the things, too, because some people is like some people have made suggestions on, on things that I can do. You know what I'm saying? Because some people is asking me about my watch time and all of this other stuff. And I'm, I have no problem answering those questions. But how is that going to help me? Let's be honest here. Like, how is that going to help my channel, man? I don't know what to do with my watch time. What does my watch time having to do with my notifications not going out? Doesn't make sense is what I'm trying to say. So... I, we, we could try to figure this out ourselves. Um, they've told me to tell you guys to send feedback about the channel saying that you guys are not getting notifications. If you guys want to do it, as I said, I'm not asking you guys to do it because I think it's redundant and stupid. I think it's very redundant and stupid because if the channel creator is contacting you about your channel and telling you that something is not working, you can't make the you know what I'm saying? The content creator feel like they're idiots and don't know what's going on. Like, why would I come to you? You think I love sitting here chatting with a complete stranger? You know what I'm saying? And lying to them and tell them, oh, 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 I'm just, oh, I just feel, I, I just feel like contacting you today about my notifications not working. It's obviously a worry because all the power is in your, is in y'all hands to handle this, the stuff on the channel. And if anything goes wrong with the channel, the power is in your hands. You control the servers. You control the, 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 the chat. If you want to, 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 um, copyright claim my, my channel that happens so fast, right? So fast. You guys can, can as soon as we upload a video, you can block it. Boom. You can figure that out in seconds. But I come to you about my notifications not being sent out. Oh, no, it's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. It's your subscribers fault. They don't have notifications turned on. Do you know how stupid that sounds, man? Oh, my God. But anyways, guys, I, I didn't mean to sit here for another 40 minutes talking about this again. Uh, I, But... <sighs> I really don't want want to be that dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be that dude. So I'm I'm putting a timeline on it. As I said, if my birthday comes around this year and this is still going on, I'm probably going to shut the channel down and start a new channel. Not shut it down, but leave it up, start a new channel, and just start from scratch and just leave the stuff that is here on so that just in case if things happen, 
to change in the future, you know what I'm saying, than whatever the situation is. But I just feel like this is absolutely ridiculous that I can't get any help with the channel. And it's it's crazy. But anyways, thank you guys for listening. If I would be surprised if any of you guys watch this entire thing, to be honest. But, um, yeah. Thanks a lot, man. Peace.